you know that we can't get through one of these deep dive interviews without a tool question. There, ha- there I mean, there has to be one. So uh, this is from Riley Jordan. This is from a different uh, Facebook fan group for Tool. This one has 66,000 members in it. So Tool, man, the, the most dedicated fan base on the planet. Uh, Riley's question is, how did you find it working with each member in Tool? Did anyone have any certain type of quirks about them or, or how they carried themselves? Um, I think, uh, the, well, the similarities was their work ethic and their preparedness. Um, extremely professional, amazing players. Um, I think as I got to know Justin Moore, his sense of melody in his bass really grew. And I loved, to, I, I loved watching that happen because he became much more melodic in the way that he played. Solid still, solid in the bottom end. But, you know, he started, he started working a lot more with melody in his lines and, and creativity uh, of his writing got, got really better. Adam, you know, his, his technique, his guitar playing technique, his pick positions, his finger articulation, all that stuff. Uh, his attention to the detail was is is probably more than I, I, any other artist that I've worked with. Um, Danny, his solid playing, his creativity in his drum parts, his his melody in his drum parts, um, his strengths, but also his subtlety. There's a lot of subtlety and his his exploration with electronic sounds while he was playing. Um, and for Maynard, man, he just. You know, his ability to push himself like that scream in the grudge that's real and first take is just one of those things that I'll never forget recording. I remember you saying Adam is just a master of tone, getting that tone for the guitar. Yeah. To the point where he'll go through, he'll get his guitar tech to change the, the, the volume pot in his guitar 10 times until he finds the one that just has the right law. Of, of volume control on it that he's used to. 